that's just the first step. Transit union leaders hope a multi-million dollar investment in Winnipeg transit safety will prevent trained drivers from seeking work elsewhere, as many drivers are looking at making other cities their stop when it comes to career. We've heard uh, indications just in the first uh, month alone, uh, 13 operators ready to take off to Calgary because they're just waiting for their phone call. Chris Scott, president of the Amalgamated Transit Union 1505, says the union has been asking for dedicated transit police for years, calling the move a Astounding, he is encouraged by the city's funding plan. Scott says violence in the system, one that saw 130 transit staff assaults in 2022, is a factor driving operators away. They are leaving uh, in part because of safety um, to other properties that have peace officers already dedicated to transit. In Winnipeg, there were 69 open operator positions in late January, and a transit spokesperson said in a statement the city is not alone in its vacancies, as, quote, many public transportation providers across North America are experiencing staff shortages, and Winnipeg Transit is actively recruiting. Detailed in the 2023 budget was $5 million for the Transit Safety Initiative, and while details were sparse, Mayor Scott Gillingham says he envisions the security officers, referring to them as a security team as opposed to a force, being trained in de-escalation tactics and working hand-in-hand -hand with frontline agencies. So we are moving quickly on that. One of the keys to getting ridership levels back to pre-pandemic levels and also a key to uh, recruiting re retaining bus, op bus operators is making sure that transit is a safe space. Um, we don't think that this is the best way to be promoting transit safety um, and most of all transit viability. However, some groups in the city like Winnipeg Police Cause Harm feel the addition of the security is steering transit in the wrong direction, saying the city is failing to address issues creating unsafe environments on public transit, like a lack of affordable housing and inadequate mental health and substance use supports. Security is just really papering over these other issues while failing to address the underlying uh, problems. Scott says while he agrees the issues need to be addressed on a larger scale, the introduction of a security team is needed now to cap violence on transit before things get worse. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.